Many of them told Inkoyo Iyamba what they want and expect to hear. Dini, there's not much of President Obama's speech that we don't know about already. He's released parts of it to the press already. Well, the president says he wants to tax the richest 1% of Americans to help a large population of our country. And the people I talked to, let's just say they're just lukewarm about the idea. If middle-income America had a sound, you could hear it at this old-fashioned soda shop. Wealthy Dr. Pepper, what size? Where a few bucks of disposable income can get you a fancy drink. I mean, everybody has their money and they spend it, choose to spend it in different ways. So this is kind of one of those little treats that people like to treat themselves with. This is a watering hole for tweens and busy moms. For the store's entrepreneur, Jen Nelson. I am living the American dream. You believe that? I believe that. Some say that ideal does not include a money shift. I think it's the wealthy that actually keeps the economy going. And um, I think we're all individuals and independent to earn what we want and to get out there and to create businesses and create what we want in our own life. That's the American dream. I mean, I would like to see something done about income inequality. Overcoming that obstacle will make life a bit easier for this college student. Disrupting other people's lives is just not something I want to see, but, you know, I definitely need some help myself. 24 Filthy Dr. Pepper. Ann Dunn says she needs help too. So I'm working here and I'm going to school and it's hard to kind of have a balance between the two and still be able to earn enough money to pay for it. If not, a speech does not mean much. My fellow Americans. Get the education we need to get a high-paying job and be able to really live in the future.